Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And welcome to Season 2, Episode 1. Let's go, y'all. I'm back. That's right, y'all. A year ago on July 1st, 2020, I started my channel. We went from zero to four. One, two, three, four thousand subscribers. Turn up, what? Four thousand subscribers. My family's getting bigger. My family's getting bigger. So check it out. What you doing right now for Season 2, Episode 1? Fishing for survival. That's right. I found a deserted beach. Miles of beach. Nobody but me. Nobody but me, okay? So what's the objective of this video for Fishing for Survival right now? What are your goals? Goal number one. I got about, got about a mile to walk. About a mile to walk of this hardcore shell beach with about 120 pounds worth of gear, gear, down this beach. So that's the first goal. Make it down the beach without trying to die. Go number two, set up my camp. I gotta set up my camp. I got my canopy. I set it up once. Did it at Texas City Dyke for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Took me like 30 minutes. I had like a concussion. I hit my head like five times. Whatever, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? After I set up my camp, gotta start catching, right? We gotta catch something to eat. Now when I say survival, I'm not putting clickbait, man. I haven't eaten 24 hours to prepare myself for this video. I'm hungry. So when I say catch and cook, I don't mean just a fish. If I don't catch a fish, bro, I'll eat a crab, a seagull, a snake, a hog, a giraffe. It's if alive, I'ma eat it. If it's alive, I'ma eat it. I'm hungry, man. Hangry like a mug. Go number three. After I catch my mammal or animal or whatever, we're gonna cook it on the beach, on location, and eat it. That is a lot of work. I've never been to this beach before. I have no clue if there's no fish over here. I cooked outside one time. This is really fishing for survival or killing a hog or that coma rat bird. I don't give a damn. Something's getting ate today. Now I wanna be a hardcore YouTuber and tell y'all I'm not leaving this beach until I catch something and eat it. I'm not gonna leave this beach until I catch something and eat it. If it takes 24 hours, it takes 24 hours. If I have to sleep over, overnight, I'm gonna be overnight. I'm lying, y'all, I'm lying. Yeah, I'm lying. As soon as that sun go down, I'm going back to my truck. I ain't about to be out here when the sun go down. Mm -mm. That's all this grass behind me. People told me there's wild hogs, mosquitoes. Nope, so um, whatever come first. Either um, I catch something and leave, and or the sun go down. Whatever goes first, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. So that's right, y'all. Got a lot on my plate, but you know what? I think I can do it. Oh, oh, woo hoo, woo, big rod, big rod got here, we on baby, we on baby, big rod, let's go. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog, season two, let's get it, let go. Y'all, so um, I just started my fishing for survival fish challenge. There's about my 100 pounds of gear. Here's my deserted beach. Here's my driftwood. Um, it's been about 20 minutes and um, think I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah, think I'm gonna die. You might need to send help. Help, 
Help! <laughs> Alright. I've been walking about half an hour, man. I got like half a mile down. Probably another half a mile to go over there. I see some water over here, man. I want to check it out real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Gotta watch out for snakes. Is it wild hogs or whatever? I don't know. Just curious to see what this is. Alright, so um it's a standing pool of water. The water is pitch black. Pitch black. Oh man, this is like a perfect place for alligators. Other unidentified animals. Yeah, yeah, let's go back on the path. We don't go off the beaten path. Black people don't go off the beaten path. That's not us. We, no, no, we stay on the path, baby. We stay on the path. Let's go back to my gear. Head out. Head back. About another half a mile. We'll set up camp. We're almost there, man. We're almost there. We can do it, y'all. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I made it. I made it to the campground, man. This is where we're gonna be at, man. See, see that? There. Yeah, see right here? That's sand. Yeah, that's row. All right, that's, that's my cart. That's, um, what do you call that? West of water. It's water, man. I need to drink some water. Gotta drink water. I'm dehydrated, man. So, yeah. It's nice, flat ground. The water looks like a dark green so it must kind of have a good drop off great sign so I think this is where I'm gonna definitely um set up base camp and um, you know do that whole fishing for survival y'all I parked my car I parked my car at 2.30 2.30 it's 4 o'clock 4 damn o'clock mile I don't even want to think about going back Matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna live out here. I ain't going back. This is where I'm living at right now, now. Can you please tell my wife to forward my mail to um to um Tree Branch and Grub Main Street. Yeah, yeah. So let's get our base camp set up and give me some shade because I'm about to die. Let's go. All right, y'all. First things first. I gotta set up my master canopy. I bought this like two weeks ago on Amazon. I you know I bought it like six months ago. I used it once last week. It took me 30 minutes to set this up. It takes two people. I've never set up a canopy before in my life besides a couple of weeks ago. It took me 30 minutes, okay? What I didn't realize was is that I didn't have to set up all the way. So I kept hitting my head multiple times. I'm about 95% sure I had a concussion. Took a nap. I don't think you're supposed to take naps when you think you have a concussion. But I survived. So let's see how long it takes to set up this canopy. And go. All right, here we go. All right. So first, you just kind of spread it out. So I'm tired as hell already. God dang. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I think I can just lay under my table over there. Be a lot quicker. All right. So I'm spread this out. There we go. Gonna get a shield. Put the Velcro on the sides. So y'all, um, I wish I really could have like drove and just kind of parked on the other side and just walked right here. But the roads are closed to the public. So I have to walk, man. But when I went to Texas City, I tried to do this. I had 19,000 people show up right next to my spot. So if I don't want people in my spot, then I gotta be willing to go where people ain't willing to go. Which takes a lot of damn work. All right, so what I'm doing is just putting the corners on the canopy. And it has like Delco right here. And putting adjacent, no mosquitoes. 
to the side. It feels like it's a lot easier the second time around. That's what she said. Two legs. Oh my God. I gotta get some water, man. But I gotta get the shade up. Two legs. Four legs. I just want to take a break to say I gotta stop being crazy, man. This this whole YouTube thing is hard, man. Like, there's so many other things in the world I can do. It's so much easier. I can draw, pottery, take up sewing. Nah, man. I want to walk 10 miles with 10,000 pounds of equipment and try to catch a fish that I can literally go down the street to Long John Silver's and buy now. All right, let me stop babying and crying. Back to work. It shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard, man. I gotta figure out how to do this easier, man. I can't be out here in the sun struggling. Ah! Go up! Ah! Go up, you bastard. Ah! Ah! Oh my. We gotta take a break and get some water, y'all. Two. Out! It's two times I hit my head. Out! Three times I've hit my head. Take a break, y'all. Take a break and hydrate. Oh my god. Oh my god. The vultures have arrived. The vultures have arrived because they sense death. Oh my god. No. No wind. No. Oh. oh man, I feel it. I'm feeling nauseated. The cold water in my body. Against the heat, I'm about to throw up. I'm about to throw up. I'm about to throw up. I'm okay. I'm okay. I drank that water really slow. Time, baby. 17 minutes. Last time it took me like 30 minutes. This time it took me 17. I took a two minute water throw up break. Progress. All right, it's time to gear up, baby. So when it comes to my gear, let's just talk about electronics right now, man. 
I'm shooting this on my Canon 70D. YouTubers call it AKA the big camera. I got my Canon G7 next to B-roll time lapse. I got my DJI Mini drone. Give me all those great drone shots. Got my GoPro Hero 8. It's like, it's like shooting a television show, you know what I'm saying? You can really tell YouTubers apart based off of their editing. So I know when people come to my channel, they know I'm just not somebody just running around shooting blurry video on the cell phone. I'm bringing y'all a short film. This is a movie. I shoot movies and documentaries, okay? I'm trying to be the biggest YouTuber in the saltwater fishing game in the state of Texas in the next two to three years. That is the plan, that is the goal. I believe the number one guy right now as far as most subscribers in Texas and saltwater fishing, Thresher Fishing, shout out Thresher Man, Killing the Corpus Christi. Love your content, bro, respect you, but I'm coming for your number one spot. Coming for it, baby, coming for it. So um, much respect to you, but I'm coming for your number one spot. I will be the number one YouTuber in the saltwater fishing game in Texas in the next two to three years. You know why? Because I'm out here in 110 degree heat lugging around 200 pounds of equipment to make sure I can shoot the dopest vlogs out there that y'all watch. And if it's your first time watching any of my videos, if you're wondering, are all my videos this good? Yes. Yes, they are this good. All right. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see this content moving forward. Now, I'm not sure how high the tide gets here. Because I don't got that much ground. So it would suck getting stuck out here, but whatever. All right, y'all. I don't know what just happened. But heavy waves just came from nowhere. And my campground is getting flooded, bro. All right. Hopefully it's temporary. I don't see any particular boats, so. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. What in the world is going on? Okay, I got about 10 feet I can back up. I can't tell how, like, how, like, I can see, like, a water line here, which is pretty terrifying if the water gets this high because there's not that much room to be able to make it back if I get trapped if the tide comes up. So something to kind of, you know, keep my eye on. Keep my eye on that. All right, update. So, goal number one, making it the mile journey down here. Accomplished, almost died, but accomplished. Goal number two, we set up base camp. I hit my head like three times. That's an improvement because last time I hit it eight. Okay, no blood. Goal number three, it's time to start trying to catch, all right? Let's talk about my gear. First thing I'm gonna do is a, a Doobie Garcia medium action, eight pound fluoro. I bought this for rainbow trout. This shouldn't be out here, but what I'm doing is, I'm throwing my number 14 size Sabiki rig with a four ounce pyramid weight. This is a bad idea. Don't do this. Do not do this, okay? Um, if we look down the line as well, first rod right here is my pin Fierce 5000. 30 pound braid, 20 pound mono, four foot liter bobber. I'm using my bobber, fits the top. Metal one. Pin Fierce 8000, seven foot rod, 60 pound braid. I have a steel leader, double shot, number four size hook, five ounce pyramid. Same thing, very far in, 12 foot rod, ugly stick, 5000, correction, 8000 Pierce, Pin Pierce, 60 pound braid, double shot, steel leader, number size four hooks, five pound ounce, pyramid weight. Okay? So, First things first, we need to see if we can catch something small to put on for our surf rods. So let's see how fast this um, Sabiki rig can get hit. It shouldn't take long. Hopefully ain't no damn catfish. All right, come on, let's go. We got a little bell for it. Am I getting hit? I'm getting hit already, y'all. I'm getting hit already, y'all. Don't be no stupid catfish, bro. 
we're getting hit. Where's my bell at? There we go. There we go. There we go. It's on. Fish on, baby. We need a croaker, whiting, or ladyfish. It better about him be no stupid catfish. Croaker, whiting. Oh my god. It is. Yes, baby. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, baby. We got that little turd flathead. Perfect size croaker. Cut bait, baby. Let's go ahead and rig up our surf rise. First cast, baby. Wash your hands a little bit. Got a bunch of birds. I'm not dead yet. Oh, we got, we on, baby. We got some. Let's see if it's another croaker. Better be no stupid catfish. One, two. There we go, baby. Nice size croaker. That might be a good size to put as live bait. Some hard heads gotta go though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look the bell. Don't lose my bell. What the hell was that? What is that? It's literally swimming up on shore. Got a trout. Yes, go, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That might be a keeper trout, baby. That might be a keeper trout, baby. Literally. 14 and a quarter, but trout supposed to be 15, right, y'all? Anyway, so we just landed this beautiful speckled trout. 14 inches, one inch, two down small. Brother, you count your days, because I was going to eat you. I'm sitting up my kitchen right now. Sitting up my kitchen right now. So let's get it back in. 14 inches. See if we can get 15 inches. We need 15 inch keeper. Let's put it back. Let's put it back. Oh, my stomach hurts. Whoa, baby, ready to go. Okay, okay, player, you got it. You got it, player. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, woo hoo, woo, big rod. Big rod got hit. We on, baby. We on, baby. Big rod. Let's go. Big rod is on, baby. Calm down, right now. Calm down, right now. Easy, baby. Easy, baby. Woo! We all, baby. We all, baby. We all, baby. Let's go. I got you. Ah! Let's go. Got some head shakes. It's going to the right. Going to the other line. No, it's coming so short. Ah! Fight! That better not be a gas top. Better not be a big gas top. Holy! Y'all, this is the biggest gas top in the world. Woo! Oh my God. <sighs> Huge gas top. <sighs> huh? <sighs> oh my God, I'm about to throw up. Y'all, how often do you see a 20 inch scaff top? Now look, I hear a lot of people say these are really good to eat. I don't think I never ate gaff top before. But a 20 inch scaff top, little slimy buggers. I mean, this is survival. Normally I wouldn't try to eat no gas top, but I'm trying to survive. So I keep it or throw it back. They said they're good eating. I want a gas top, man. I should put it on a stringer, put it in the bucket. 
Look, man, I'm worried. I'm worried that if I throw it back, I'm not gonna catch nothing else. Then I'm gonna regret throwing this back. Is there a limit on gap top? Is there a size limit? Let me check the size limit and I'll let you know what I'm gonna do with this 20 inch gap top limit. Look at that, man. 20 inches. They say it's good eating. People always get mad when they catch them. Normally I wouldn't do it. I think I'm gonna eat it. Hold on, man. Let me, let me see if there's a limit with gap tops. Cause 20 inches, bro. Okay, Google. What is the Texas limit for gaff tops? According to Houston Chronicle, gaff top catfish, another popular game, food fish for pure and jetty anglers, have no bag limit, but no. a 14 inch minimum is enforced. 14 inch minimum, no bag limit, 20 inch gaff top. So yeah, I'm eating it. I don't know if I'm gonna catch something else, so I think I'm gonna eat it. I never cooked the gaff top before, but I'm trying to survive, man. This season two, baby. We ain't gone home, but ain't no skunks in season two. All right, all right, let's go. All right, y'all, so let's get an update. What happened so far? Go number one, make the mile journey to the campground. Check. Go number two, set up my camp. Check. Go number three, catch something. Okay, let me explain. I caught a gap top. I caught a 20 inch gap top, okay? It was, there was a trout, but it, was, it wasn't the keeper. So this is a survival video. Y'all remember at the beginning of this video when I told y'all, I'm going to catch something and I don't care if it's a crab, snake, wild hog, seagull, or giraffe, or even a gap top, okay? Um, never made gap top before, never ate gap top before, but people say it's good. I know a lot of people say that it's a trash fish. I don't know, so normally I don't keep them because the stereotype of it being a trash fish. So I'm gonna try to cook it, man. So in order to cook it, I need to clean it. Never cleaned one before, so I'm gonna head to YouTube, um, do a little research and figure out how to clean the gas top, and um, we'll get to cleaning and get to cooking. Yes, cause look, man, it's 7.33. I only got maybe like 30 minutes left of sunlight to get this taken care of. If I lose the sunlight, it's over with. I still gotta go about an hour back that way. By sundown, which is 8.30, we getting out of Dodge. We getting out of Dodge. We about to cook this gas top and take it to the house, okay? I don't give a care. I don't care if it's not a red, okay? I don't care if it's not a flounder, okay? You ain't out here, so y'all gonna enjoy this gas top, catch, clean the cook, and smash the like button, okay? Sorry for yelling. I'm hungry, y'all. I haven't eaten like forever. All right, so got my stove warming up. I watched one video on how to do this. One video. First off, I wanna get rid of this because it's in the way. God dang, what the, bruh. Okay, never mind. you can keep it. I didn't want to take it off anyway. All right, so apparently, all I need to do is just kind of fill meat bone. It's a little cold, there we go, here we go. So we're gonna come towards the ribs. that let's come up a little higher oh I need to get above the rib bone okay oh man this is gonna be harder than I thought dude in the video made it look so easy well I'm just gonna do like a, a regular fish just go along the spine just behind the spine yeah, I'm just gonna do like I do regular fish I mean, like I said, first time I ate gat top, as long as ain't no worms and I ain't tripping. Then again, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat the worms. We gotta hurry up because the sun is about to dry, come down. Oh, I'm just, I'm literally killing this. <laughs> literally killing it. Butcher, butchering the slimy gap top. All right, ain't pretty. We'll make it work. We'll make it work, baby. Mm. 
Okay. Oh man, this is not easy. That big old 20 inch scat top, I got that one small fillet. Oh, that's that rib base right there, baby. I see it now. So I gotta come here. Oh, okay, it's like a, the rib bones are like picking. Oh, I see it now, okay. So if I do that, then I can just, oh, uh, I went to the guts. Too deep, went too deep. Retreat, retreat, Rennell. Come on, Rennell, you got this. There you go. We can get it, we can get it. We can get it. Relax, baby. I know them spines, it's a good thing I got this glove because the spines are tearing my butt up. Let's get a fillet, I gotta hurry up, man. Sun is almost at the tree line. Oh my God, why do I do everything last second? All right, hell with it, hell with it. That's all I need. That's all I need to complete my dish. It's these two bloody, gooey looking fillets. That's all I need. That's all I need, we'll make it work. All right, let's hurry up in the season. Sun's going down, baby. We're gonna do a little garlic salt and a little ground pepper. Oh no, my, my ground pepper got wet. Come on, bro. Oh no. Keep it pushing. It's all good. I had my ground pepper in um, the cooler and it's, everything is wet. I can't, oh my God, it's all good. Come on, bro, damn it. We gotta make this work. Ground pepper juice is still ground pepper. You know what I'm saying? We gonna make this work. I don't care if it's soggy, it's still pepper. Here we go. All right. So that's it, man. That's our fillets. We keeping it simple. Let's check our pan. All right. We're gonna use a small piece of butter. Have a stick. I don't care. I don't care. Right, checking on butter. There we go. Got fillets in. Go. All right, so we're gonna multitask with our buns. Put a nice little graze on them, just like that. Nice little graze on them. There we go. Nice, don't want to overdo it. Get a little bit more. Tad. Nobody want no damn dry buns, y'all. Be roughing it out here. Roughing it out here. Y'all, I got here at 2 o'clock, now 8.30, with two minutes to spare before the sun goes down. So let me take a bite of my gas top sandwich, because I haven't eaten in like 24 hours. It's been like 30 hours. I don't know if it's, if it's because I haven't ate or eaten in like 32 hours. The gas top is delicious. Would I eat gas top in the future? No. What I got top in a survival situation like this? Yes. I'm so tired. My, my hands are cramping up. Everything hurts. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. This is the beginning of season two. My goal for the, this year, hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. We taking over. If you like this video. Have I got tartar sauce in my mouth? Yes. 
if you like this video, I need you to hit the like button. I need you to know somebody's out there watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you made it to the end of this video, subscribe. Anybody who watched the video this long clearly likes me. So go ahead and subscribe, it's free. I did it! <laughs> I did it!